Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God mtoto. Wow, siku ingine njema. Mungu ametupa tuwe katika ibada ya leo na atuchukulika kama kawaida. You are very welcome in our service today. Feel you are at the right place and you have made the right decision ya kuwa pamoja na sisi katika ibada. May the Lord bless you. Na siku ya leo mimi naitwa Ticha Cecilia Wairimu, nimeokoka. Yesu ni bwana katika maisha yangu. Na tuko mahali hapa katika Destiny Kids Service chini ya mtumishi wa bwana Apostle John Kimani William na Reverend Naomi Kimani na nakuomba uweze kukuwa pamoja na sisi ufanye yale tutakayofanya katika ibada kama ni ku worship, you worship with us. Kama ni kuomba usifunge mdomo wako, omba pia kama ni ku praise you stand up and praise na kama ni kusikiliza neno la Bwana you open your ears you write you open the word of God na you go and tell others about the word of God and the goodness of this God God loves you child of God na naomba kwanza tuombe ili tuweze kuendelea tufunge macho yetu Bwana asante sana kwa siku njema ambayo umetupa kuwa katika ibada hii ya Destiny Kids Service hatuchukuli kama kawaida tunarishukuru jina lako na tunaomba Bwana ukatupa nguvu ya kutimiza mapenzi yako tunaweka ibada hii wakfu tunaomba Bwana ukabariki kila sehemu ya ibada hii kila hudumu mhudumu atakaye hudumu mfanne mambo yote tutakayofanya maombi tutakayotoa praises tutakazotoa Bwana kusikiliza neno lako mfanne zote tunaomba Bwana zikakuletee sifa na utukufu na zaidi ya yote zikabadilishe maisha yetu kama watoto tukaweza Bwana kutimiza mapenzi yako na kufikia hatima zetu kama inavyokupendeza wewe. Asante sana na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini na sote tuseme amen. Thank you child of God for being there and for being in the service today. Na tutatanguliza na neno fupi la, la word of God kutoka the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 wapa primary huwa mnasema the beatitudes one of the beatitudes iko katika kitabu cha Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 very simple one inasema happy are the pure in heart they will see god happy are the pure in heart they will see god do you want to see god one day do you want to live with this god one day Yes for me I would want. Na sasa tumepewa moja ya siri ya kuona huyu Mungu. Tumeambiwa having a pure heart. Number one, you will be happy. Number two, you will see God. What things have you stored in your heart? Ni mambo mazuri, ni mambo matakatifu, ni mambo yanayompendeza Mungu ama wewe umeamua kuweka mambo machafu chafu ambayo Mungu hata haizi pata nafasi katika moyo wako kwa vile kumejawa na uchafu. Siku ya leo hata wewe ukaambua uende ulale kwa pipa ya takataka. Will you do that? No, of course not. But ukipoa mahali pasafi, eh pananukia vizuri ni pasafi. So uta, hata utalala unono. Eh utakuwa na furaha kukaa mahali pale kwa sababu ni pasafi. Siku ya leo that purity, mambo masafi ndani ya moyo wako, mawazo yako, ni nini unaweka ndani yako? Ni nini unatazama? Ni nini unafikiria? Ni nini unafanya hata wakati wenye hauonekani? Hayo mambo yenye unaweka ndani ya moyo wako. Let them be pure. And after all this you will see God in life after you will see god and in your present life god will be there for you he will stand for you he will be fighting for you and he will live in you so you will see god even in your present life si tuamwe siku ya leo watoto we have a pure heart tukue na mioyo ambayo ni misafi ili huyu mungu akae ndani yetu na hata baada ya hapo we will see him with our eyes when he will come for us because we we'll have lived pure lives sasa naomba tuingie katika kuomba lakini kwanza nakaribisha worship team watuongoze katika kipindi cha worship kisha tutaomba worship team karibu mataifa
katika hiyo hali ya worship naomba ufunge macho yako tutamuelekea Bwana tutamwambia Mungu ni asante maana ametupa ufunuo wa neno lake ametuwezesha kukua watoto ambao tunapata nafasi ya kusikiliza neno lake tusichukulie jambo hilo kama kawaida maana neno lake linatumulikia linatuangazia tunasema ni asante Mungu wetu asante kwa neno lako ambalo huwa unatupa kila wakati hata katika ibada tunapoketi huwa tunafunzwa mambo mengi hatuchukuli kama kawaida hilo neno linatufanya tunakuwa werevu linatufanya tunakujua zaidi linatufanya tunajua jia nzuri za kutembelea nasi siku ya leo tunasema ni asante kama watoto wako kwa hayo mafundisho ambayo huwa yanatukujia kama watoto wako ili bwana tunazidi kukua katika wewe Mungu wetu pokea sifa pokea heshima wakati huu tuambie Bwana si atuumbie hiyo mioyo misafi ni roho wake mtakatifu tu anayeweza kutuelekeza kutupa himizo katika maisha yetu kama watoto ili tuweze kutembelea katika hizo njia safi ili tuweze kuwa na mioyo misafi ndani yetu kama ni kuwatch mambo mabaya tunasema hapana kama ni kusoma vitumba ya mbaya tunasema hapana kama ni kuwaza mambo ya kufanyia wengine mabaya tunasema hapana only the holy spirit can help us to do that na siku ya leo we invite that holy spirit in us as children that we may be able to have purity in our hearts to have pure hearts in us because we want to see god we want to see god in our present lives tunataka huyu mungu atutembee mambo makubwa tunataka huyu mungu atusaidie katika njia zetu za kila siku katika masomo yetu katika nyumba zetu mungu tunakutamani tunatamani kukuona ukitenda mambo makubwa tunatamani kukuona ukituongoza ukituokoa kutokana na mambo mengi ambayo hadui huwa anatuletea kama watoto kutokana na majaribu mengi ambayo huyo anakuja jia zetu kama watoto Tunatamani kuona ushindi wako. We tunatamani mfalme na umetuambia Bwana kama tunataka kukuona we have to be pure in the heart. Create in us oh God a pure heart oh Lord to love you, to walk in holiness, to walk in righteousness, to do your will, kufanya mambo yanayokupendeza Mungu wetu, kuwaza mambo mazuri, kutenda mambo mazuri. Tunaomba Bwana create in us a pure heart oh God of seeking you, of reading your word, of praying, of releasing ourselves unto you as children of God of growing in you in every day of our lives my God tuombe hata wengine wazazi wetu watoto wenzetu tuombe that the lord may remember them today he may also create a pure heart in them because we don't want to leave them behind hata tungetamani waweze kumuonja huyu mungu waweze kujua wema wake waweze kujaliwa mambo mema na yeye waweze kumuona na hata bwana wakaweza kuishi pamoja na yeye na kukuona physically oh god when you'll come for us oh god bwana bariki wenzetu bariki wazazi wetu bariki jamii yetu bariki hata taifa faletu la Kenya angazia watu wako Bwana tusaidie wasaidie kujua mambo mazuri kuweka mioyo yao ikiwa misafi ili wakaweza kukuona katika maisha yao pokea sifa pokea heshima wacha tuombe pamoja Bwana tunasema ni asante wewe ni mwema asante kwa neno lako tamu ambalo limekuja ndani yetu likatufunza siku ya leo if we have pure hearts oh god we will be called happy if we have pure heart oh king of all glory we are going to see you oh god and that is our desire as your children and now we pray my god help us my father that we may have pure hearts in us help us oh god to remove all filthy things in our lives in our hearts oh god that our hearts may be pure and we will be able to see you my god bless these children my father in the walk of their lives my god help them my father give them a mind oh god and a heart my father that is ready to listen to you and to follow your word for the glory and honor of your name we pray this believing and trusting in your holy name In Jesus name we pray amen and amen. Wow. It's a good thing to pray. It's a good thing to call to the Lord. Na sasa wakati huu tunaingia katika praising. We are going to praise our God. We are going to jump. This strength that he has given us in our bodies. A we will offer it to him through praising his holy name. Na sasa nakaribisha praise team. Praise team karibu sana. Mweze kutuongoza katika praising our God. Jehovah, you are a mighty God, King of glory, you reign above. The one I love, serving you is my delight. Jehovah, you are a mighty God, King of glory, you reign above. The one I love, serving you. Jehovah
sio kuiba nyimbo mbaya mbaya huko hapana nyimbo zetu ziwe ni za kumtukuza nani Mungu mili yetu ni ya kumtukuza nani Mungu inamurukia inampigia makofi eh na yeye anapendezwa na wewe na yeye anafurahia na anakufanya unakuwa mbarikiwa si ndio unakuwa happy very good sasa wakati huu tutasikiliza presentations kutoka kwa watoto ambao ni watoto wenzetu na tunaomba ukasikilize kwa makini na kisha na wewe ukashika memory verse ukisoma neno chika verse moja kwa hiyo neno umesoma ebu i repeat kila wakati i repeat i repeat then ukisha repeat u repeat u repeat in a stick in your mind in a stick in your heart na unaweza sasa kuisema hata bila kuangalia kwa bible imagine na inakuwa memory verse na kila wakati unakaa ukifikiria hiyo inakusaidia sana na ina make you ina make you to grow katika bwana na so welcome very much our children praise god praise god again my name is samuel prince and i have a song Welcome. Let love explode and bring the dead to life. Love so blown to bring a revolution somehow. Now you're lost in your freedom. And this world has overcome. My God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, rolling like a lion. My God's not dead, he's surely alive, he's living on the inside, rolling like a lion. He's lo rolling, he's roaring, roaring like a lion. He's roaring, roaring, roaring like a lion. The hope arise and make the darkness hide. And in this dead, I need a resurrection somehow. Now I'm lost in your freedom and the sword i love come my god's not dead he's surely alive living on the inside rolling like a lion my god's not dead surely not he's surely surely alive he's living on the inside rolling like a lion roaring 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 like a lion thank you praise god praise god my name is promise pazit and i'm in grade four I'm born again and I want to present a memory verse. Thank you. John 3:16 it says, "For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life." Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 it says, "Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice." Thank you. Wow. They have done a good work. Smile for them. After that let us beautify them to wake maua to washangilie maua maua inside maua inside maua kila mahali kwa kazi nzuri ambao wamefanya kisha we drop for them wow may they receive in Jesus name and may the Lord help them to grow in knowing him and to continue spreading the gospel na wakati huu mtoto Naomba ukakuwa makini, ukaketi chini, ukachukua kitabu chako, Biblia yako, kalamu yako, ukafanya recap ya yenye ulisoma la service. Unakumbuka kenye mlifunzwa la service? Eh, sasa ni wakati wa neno. Ukae, utulie na uweze kusikiliza neno. And we are going to welcome the teacher who is going to teach us the word of God today. Teacher, you are very welcome. Haleluya, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya wakati huu tunazidi kulinua jina la Bwana kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu ametulinda ametuhifadhi ametuleta ubari huu tuna sababu zote za kumwabia ni asanti kabla tuingie kwa lesson yetu ya siku ya leo uh, ningetaka tuweze kujikubusha ama tufanye recap yele tuliweza kusoma last time na tulikuwa na tisha Sicilia ambaye aliweza kutuletea uh, our, uh, that lesson ambayo ilikuwa the possibilities in Christ possibility in Christ na baada ya kutufundisha hiyo lesson kuna ile homework ambayo alituashia. Kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu ningeenda tuweze kwenda through that uh, the homework or homework assignment na for the lower grades hawa watoto wetu wadogo uh, you were to draw uh, draw and color Jesus talking to the Samaritan woman. Draw and color Jesus talking to the Samaritan woman. Kwa hivyo kama uliweza kushola tu vizuri na ukaweza kukara Uh, that is 10 good marks 
So kama uliweza kufanya hivyo you are guardian kama mzazi mwenye yako karibu anaweza kukuangalia na kama uliweza kufanya hivyo that is 10 good marks so god bless you let's appreciate them One, two. Aha, uh-huh, very good. God bless you. Na wakati unapoendelea hivyo sio tu kushola, unashola ukisoma kwa sababu ninajua ya kwamba umeweza kushola that uweza kushola, kushola Jesus na the Samaritan woman na kuna vile umeweza kusoma kupitia hiyo lesson. So God bless you for the upper classes or the upper grade. Uh, the question number 1 was uh, name any two characters in uh, in our Bible story today. Uh, name any two character in our Bible story today. So uh, the first one is uh, name any two character in uh, our Bible story today. Uh, moja in our Bible story, tumeona we have Jesus as the main character. Then we have Samaritan woman. Then we have the disciples. Uh, then inajua wegi hawakupata hii ya mwisho. Wegine pegine hawakufikiria hiyo. Lakini there, we have another character but uh, tunaweza waita other characters. The, the Samaritan people. Kama uruenza kuadika kati ya hizo. That is two marks. Now, question number two. List any five possibilities. Uh, uh, list five. Uh, list any five possibilities that are in Christ. A. That is uh, ama ya kwanza ni salvation. That is eternal life. The other one is healing. The other one is deliverance, profession, transformation. Then, kama umeza kuadika hivo, that is five good marks. Then, uh, there is ability. Uh, okay, the, the other one is, uh, kama umeza kuadika pia, ability to do exploits. Kama umeza kuadika katia hizo, that is, te, that is five marks. The other one is, the, the, the third question was, uh, list any three requirements to receive the possibilities in Christ. Uh-huh. Question number three, list, list any three requirements to receive the possibilities in Christ. Uh-huh. Kama uliweza kuadika uh, on, ya kwanza, belief in Jesus. Uh, two, have desire. Number three, ask. Number four, have faith. That is three marks. Kama uleza kufanya zote vizuri, that is ten good marks. Na kama hauku na mahali pegine ulikosea, unaweza kuulekebisha pare. Na ninajua ya kwaba mungu ataweza kukubariki na ataweza kukuteda mabomema tunapo endelea. So now tutaweza kuingia for, in our lesson for today. Our lesson for today is about God's name to call. Uh-huh. God's name. God's name to call. That is our lesson for today na uh, tutaanzia na kuangalia kwanza which are these names tutaangalia kwa haraka tunaona god's name to call and we are going to see these names uh, kwa haraka number 1 we have shalom number 1 shalom that is god's name to call number 1 shalom number 2 eloi number 3 kama vile unaona ni jile Number four, Adonai. Number five, Shama. Number six, Elam. Number seven, Eloah. Number eight, Jehovah Nisi. Number nine, Jehovah El Jibal. Uh-huh. Number ten, Saboad. That is Jehovah Saboad. Number eleven, Jehovah El Heka. Number thirteen, uh, Jehovah Hosenu. Number 13, Jehovah Lafa. Tunaendelea pamoja. Wewe utaniambia ulikuwa unajua gapi? Haya number, tuko number 14, Jehovah Eloyon. Ulikuwa unajua hiyo? Haya number 15, Jehovah Elohim. Haya the other one is Jehovah Mekadishken. Ulikuwa unajua hiyo? Aha, the other one is Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Elohim. Ulikuwa unajua hiyo? The other one is Jehovah Sikenu. Ulikuwa unajua hiyo? Nimeweza kukusomea hayo majina kwa sababu our lesson for today is God's name to call. Baada ya kusoma ama baada ya kujua hayo majina, sijui wewe ulikuwa unajua gapi? Aha. Uh-huh. Utaweza kuiandika vizuri ili uendelee kujikubusha. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo kati ya hiyo kati ya hayo majina ambayo tunamuita Mungu wetu Ningetaka sasa tuangalie moja abayo ni Jehovah Jile. So, tuta focus on Jehovah Jile. Umeandika Jehovah Jile? Aha, uh-huh, very good. 
kama umeweza kufanya hivyo tutaangalia hiyo Jehova Jire. Na jambo la kwanza tunapoangalia Jehova Jire hiyo inamaanisha nini? Nini jile ni kusema nini? Jile means the Lord my provider. Jile means Jehovah my provider. Na sasa kuna wengine mwingine pengine anauliza provide and provide. What is to provide? To provide or, or provide means uh, make available, make available, supply, give something that is needed at a particular pegine, at a particular time. So our story for that topic uh, or that lesson, the story we are going to see the story of Moses and we are going to see our story from Exodus 17 Exodus chapter 17 verse 1 up to 6. Si uko na Biblia yako? Let's go together in our story. Na sasa tutaanza story yetu. Uh, in our first slide tunaona yule mtu mwenye amefanya hivi. Unajua huyo ni nani? Haya. Hebu tuangalie the first slide tunaona. The Lord told Moses, I am going to lay down bread from heaven for six days each where on the sixth day people should gather twice as much as on the seventh day. There will be no bread uh, from heaven as it is a special day for them to rest. So tunaona hiyo mtu anaogea na Mungu. Moses alikuwa anaogea na Mungu na akamwambia ya kwamba si tumesema uh, uh, jire inamaanisha nini akamwambia i'm going to provide and i'm going to lay in a bread from heaven huyo ni mungu ananena naye the next slide tunaona moses ameinua mikono pale anasema nini moses and halon announced uh, to god si mnajua halon ni nani aha uh-huh. hebu uliza huyo mwingine halon ni nani tutaendelea hivyo utajua moses and halon announced and told uh, 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 announced uh, has hand from uh, 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 that God have hand you are glabbering. Imagine how to see kuoba alikuwa naoba. Mungu anasikia. Unajua hata wakati una, unasema kitu na moyo wako, wakati unasema na kinywa chako, hata kama sio maobi, Mungu huwa anasikia. Anasikia wakati unanungunika na anasikia pia wakati unamuomba. Na kwa sababu anatupenda, Mungu wetu ni mwingi wa upendo. Na tunaona hivyo na tutaona hivyo tunapoendelea. Uh, na baada ya hivyo wakaita watu na akawaambia vile Mungu amemwambia. Tukienda into the next slide Tunaona Alon told the cloud to come before God as they looked toward the desolate. They saw the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord promised Moses he was sending meat that evening and bread in the evening. So, baada ya hiyo akaita watu na kawaelezea vile Mungu amesema na ya kwamba Mungu ataashiria mikate kutoka juu biguni. Tukienda into the next slide tunaona that evening a large flo- a large flock of birds called quail landed near the camp in the uh, in the camp. The ugly the hungry people caught them eat delicious meal or eat delicious meat unaona mungu ame ameza ameanza kufluf kuweza he started fulfilling his promises to his people lakini hawa watu hawakuwa na wakati wa kugojea walikuwa na wakati ni kama hawakuwa na muamini mungu anaweza ku provide but our god is our uh, is our provider na ukiangalia hapo baada ya those promises tunaona watu that evening the the a vile Mungu aliweza kufanya the ask Moses what is it wakaanza kuona vile Mungu ameanza kuleta mikate na baada ya kuangalia wao walishangaa kwa sababu hawakuwa wameona kitu kama hiyo tena ukiangalia pale wanajiuliza what is this wanaona hebu angalie hiyo picha hata kuna mtu mwenye amekaa hivi anajiuliza what is this na baada ya kuuliza what is this hiyo uh, jina uh, kuuliza what is this uh, it means mana in Hebrew Kwa hivyo akaabali wakaambia ya kwamba from there ikajulikana ya kwamba that is mana na ndio waliita from there na hata na kuendelea God provided a bread from heaven Tukiangalia into the next uh, fl- uh, the next slide tunaona uh, this is the bread from heaven God promised Moses explained everyone should gather as much as they need don't collect uh, more than you need and store it overnight. Kwa hivyo wakaambiwa ya kwamba hii ni mikate ambayo Mungu amepromise kutoka biguni. Na kuna mahali walifika panaitwa Levidim. There was no water. Uh-huh. What happened? Uh, there was no water to drink na unajua uh, wakati hakuna maji vile mambo inaweza kuwa wakapata kiu. Uh, then what happened? They complained and quarreled with Moses, demanding give us water to drink. 
Why do you uh, quarrel with me? Moses asked, Why do you test God? Imagine how watu, they have not learned. Waliona Musa alikuwa anaendelea. Baada ya kana Musa agetaka kitu alienda kwa Mungu, akaoba Mungu na Mungu akamjibu. Imagine how watu, ha, ha, mpaka wakati huu hawakuwa wanafanya hivyo. Imagine. Lakini wakaanza kukuolo. Na Musa akauliza, Why are you quarreling Mungu? Tukiangalia the next one tunaona ya kwamba Moses cried out to God for for help. What am I going to do? Unaona Musa as usual baada ya watu yeye hakukomplain yeye alienda kwa Mungu kama vile alivyosoea. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri wakati tunapata challenges in life tuwashe ku complain let's be going to god uh, kama mungu akampatia instruction akamwambia carry your stuff na wede to a certain lock na wakati walipo abio hivyo akaita wale watu the leaders the elders akawaita akawaambia yakoa but there is an assignment that i have been given by god and i want us to do it together wakaenda pamoja na the elders na wale viongozi wakaenda mahali panaitwa horeb uh, na baada wa, wakati walienda pale mungu alimu instruct fili atafanya uh, na that staff a leader for old Moses to the lock at the Horeb and uh, uh, water uh, 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 strike the, the lock it, uh, with his staff na baada ya kufanya hivyo what happened tunaona pale in the last picture baada ya kuabio hivyo tumeona ameadamana na the elders aliti vile Mungu alimwambia na baada ya kufanya hivyo everyone drank uh, na baada ya kufanya hivyo maji ikatoka na tena sio maji kidogo a lot of water tukiangalia ina last uh, ina last slide tunaona watu wamesherekea watu wamefurahia a lot of water Ma, maji imetokea maji mengi sana na tunaona ya kwamba everyone drank the water Moses called the praise Masa and Merimba because people had doubted uh, doubted God by asking is the Lord with us or not imagine watu walikuwa hawakuwa naangalia vile Mungu aliwasaidia imagine ukifika to a point unauliza kama Mungu wa gari pamoja nami just because of the few challenges that you are going through everyone is going through challenges in this life but the the, the thing remained that God is still in heaven he hears our prayers and in due time at his time as well he is going to do and he is going to answer our prayer so for today tu, kuna mambo tutaangalia keys to God's provision uh, key number one. It is prayer. Aha, uh-huh. key number one is prayer. Ha watu, kama wote, imagine all these people, kama wangekuwa wanakuja wanaoba pamoja na Moses. Mungu angefanya hata na Saidi. Na imagine miaka ilikuwa ili mingi ya, ku, ya kukaa pare. Miaka yao ingepunguzwa na Mungu kama wangekuwa wanakuja pamoja pamoja na mtumishi wa Mungu Musa. Point number two is faith. Uwe na imani. Kama wale watu wangekuwa na imani, eh? ya kwamba Mungu alitusaidia. Mungu alitupatia chakula. Imagine mikate inatoka biguni na hawaoni hiyo. Imagine ile uh, ile ile dege ambao walito walikuja wakashika na wakakula zile nyama. Aha. Uh-huh. Ile jambo jingine ni patience. Kuwa na hali ya kugojea. Ya kwamba Mungu amenitedea hivi na nimeenda mbele zake tena kwa sababu kuna hitaji jingine niko nayo nitakuwa na wakati wa kugojea. Aha. Uh-huh. The other one is number four, obedience kuti. Tunaona Musa baada ya kuabio jabo na Mungu alienda akaoba na akabio jabo na Mungu alikuwa anaenda na anafanya vile Mungu amemwambia. Baada ya kufanya vile Mungu anamwambia kulikuwa kunapatikana results. Na baada hizo results watu walikuwa wana benefit from those results sa kuti Mungu. Hallelujah. Tunaendelea vizuri. Haya tutaangalia our memory fast for today. Let's read together Philippians Chapter 4 verse 19 but my god shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus aha uh-huh. hebu tusome pamoja but my god shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ tunaona vile in our story god provided meat aha tule wale dege quals aliweza ku provide zile dega na wakakula nyama mikate ikatoka biguni wakati walihitaji wali maji god provided aha uh-huh. in that memory first there is very important thing that god can provide in your life unaweza pata chakula unaweza pata hiyo maji lakini imagine baada ya kupata hizo provisions hapa duniani ukose ufalme wa biguni the most important thing is seeking the kingdom of god first na sasa katika hiyo jabu ni kumpokea yesu kristo and Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Hawala watu walikuwa wanakula. Wanaletewa ile mana inanyesha kama mfua, wanakula. Lakini the following day, 
walikuwa wanagojea tena kwa sababu pia walipata jaa tena lakini kama wagempata Yesu na wajue ya kwamba he is the bread of life hata hawage kuwa na hizo complain aha uh-huh. kwa hivyo siku ya leo kama ugetaka kumpokea Yesu Kristo as the bread of life na maji ya uhai he is the living water ebu inua mkono wako usimame mahali ulipo na, u- na uweze kuludia hili obi nyuma yangu na ni ya kwamba kupitia imani kama vile tumesema dhuru imani utampokea Yesu Kristo sema bwana Yesu ni, nimesikia neno lako na nimejua kuanzia siku ya leo the results does not come from complaining or lamentation but is through believing in you trusting in you having faith in you na kuanzia siku ya leo nimeamua kukufuata kwa sababu you are the bread of life nimeomba siku ya leo nikubali unishibishe na mkata wako wa uhai na maji ambao sitapata kiu tena ninaomba unisaidie unishike na mkono wako na uweze kunishidania katika hii safari. Mahali nimekuwa nikisunguka mlima, mahali nimekaa katika in the desert for a long time. Ninaomba unishike na mkono wako na uniingishe mahali pangu in the promised land. Ninaomba unisaidie hapa duniani na saidi to the eternity. Ninakuinua kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu. Asanti kwa kuniokoa na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeokoka. Amen. Kama umempokea Yesu Kristo kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako. He is the bread of life. Ye atakushibisha. Ye atakusaidia katika hii safari na atakupatia nguvu. Kama umeweza kuomba hilo ombi, unaweza tuma jina lako ili uweze pia kupata maombi na mwelekeo. Uh, SMS number or WhatsApp number that is 01 10 35 0110555000 and god will bless you my tree now kabla tu malizie our lesson for today nitakuashia homework na kwa hawa watoto hawa wetu wadogo pia uh, you are going to draw and color moses striking the lock uh-huh. draw and color moses striking the lock that is 10 good marks muliona vile ilifanyika alitumwa na Mungu akatii na baada ya kustrike the loco nini ilitoka ilitoka maji so sio tu kushola ni kwa sababu umefuatilia story na umejua ni nini unashola hapo na utakuwa umebarikiwa so for the upper grades question number one. list down five gold's name si tumeweza kusoma zote vile tulisoma na nikakwambia uandike vizuri na uweze kuangalia pia as a homework tena uweze kuangalia the meaning of those words so question number one. List down five God's name. That is five good marks. Question number two. What is the meaning of the word Jehovah Jile? What is the meaning of the word Jehovah Jile? So tumeweza kusoma na tumeweza ku, na nimeweza kukuelezea the meaning of the word Jehovah Jire and you are going to write that. That is two good marks. Our last question, question number three. Uh, God give three keys to God's provision. Give Three keys to God provision that is three good marks kama umeweza kuandika na kuangalia hizo zote utaangalia your notes uweze kujibu tu vizuri you take your time na ukifanya hivyo Mungu ataweza kukubariki kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu uh, tutaweza kukuomba pamoja ili tuweze kumalizia lesson yetu ya siku ya leo na ninajua ya kwamba you, you are not where you were as well as my side siko mahali nilikuwa nimeweza pia kubarikiwa na hilo neno. Kwa hivyo we are going to pray na ninajua ya kwamba Mungu ataweza kutubariki. Let's pray together. Jehovah Shalom, tunajua ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu unatenda. You are God who is doing great even in our time. We call upon your holy name our God. Thank you for your good and your worthy. We call upon you that Lord you may help us oh Jehovah God, that you may help us in this journey even as we continue to trust in you our redeemer. Father, we give you the praise like the time of Israelites. You provided for them our God. Even at our time, you are able to provide all that we need. You are Jehovah Jireh, our God who provides provide provide for us oh king of glory the peace that we need in our homes oh my god in jesus name then our nation and the church oh king of glory atakwa watoto wetu we pray for your provision oh redeemer in all that we need oh king of glory in various aspects in our life we give you all the praise we give all the honor to your holy name thank you for today's word oh king of glory father lord we pray for your blessing that you are going to be with us even jehovah god as we continue trusting in you we praise you 
you and we honor you. Thank you for them who have received Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. That, Lord, you are going to help them, Jehovah God. You are going to strengthen Jehovah God. You are going to make them stand in your wonder and they are going to trust in you. They are not going to complain, but they are going to trust in you. Here on earth and for the eternity. We give you all the praise. We give all the honor into your holy name. And it is in Jesus' name do we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.